textbook. We started a coordinate diameter difference in. What's it? Uh, who are there online today? Oh, she can't reach it. Can you hear me, Kaushik and Vijay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Vijay, how are you? Fine, sir. So what, what are the things that we learn using coordinate geometry here, Rohit? What are the three things? Uh, distance between two points if coordinates are given, right? Coordinates of the points are given. Second thing is three coordinates are given. Then by joining, we can form a triangle, right? And then we can calculate the area of the triangle. So what is the third one? Finding the coordinates. Coordinates of a point, which divides line, line segment. In a given ratio. So these are the three things that we look here. Okay. So yesterday we looked at the formula of the distance formula, right? You know the distance formula. So let's say x and y. Let's say p and q. P is x1 comma y1 q is x2 comma y2 then pq the distance between the p and q is represented with pq right pq equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus so this distance is always positive right also it's equal to x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 both are equal only. Why both are equal? Uh -huh. Sorry. A, down one is not equal. Huh? Second one is not right. Huh? Uh -huh. First one is right or second one is right? Ah. First one, second one is not right. Huh? Only first one. Huh? When you square it, if it's plus or minus, it will be positive only, right? Let's say what's the pi square? Minus pi whole square. Then what is the difference between x minus x1 minus x2 whole square or x2 minus x2 whole square? Both are equal only, right? Go ahead. Equal or different? That's it. Both are equal only. After squaring it, 
it's a plus or minus it will be positive only okay so both are both are correct also equal to x one minus x two whole square plus y two minus y one whole square also equal to x two minus x one whole square plus y one minus y two whole square all are equal only either you can do x one minus x two or x two minus x one or you can do y minus y two or y two minus y two both are same okay because we are squaring them that's the reason so this is the distance from the Okay, so so what's the distance of a point P from the origin? So let's say this is the origin, and there is a point P which is x, y. Okay, so what's the distance? This OP, OP equal to square root of X square plus, right? So x minus zero whole square plus y minus zero whole square equal to square root of x square plus, right? O P equal to so let's look at one example. Okay, Prince, look at the derivation of the distance formula. If you don't understand, ask me in the next class. Not no. What's the example? So there are two the points from a triangle. If so, name the type of triangle form. So if, if three points are there, can we form a triangle? Huh? Three points are there. Uh huh? Form a triangle. If three points are lying on a line, then three points can lie on a line also, right? Then triangle. Zero, one, two, three. There are three points. One, one, two, one. Three one. Can you form a triangle with this? Huh? <laughs> so it will be line. So these are the points are collinear, collinear, right? You cannot form a. That's why they are asking us. Uh, did you bring a graph? X plus bring it. Okay, x plus bring the graph. So let's let's plot the graph. Okay, let's take this example. You also do it parallelly. Okay. So point P is three comma two. Point P is three comma two. Point P is three comma two. Okay, this is three comma two. Point Q Q is minus two comma minus three. Minus two comma minus three. Q is minus two comma. Okay. What is the other point? R is two comma three. Point R is two comma R two comma three. We can form a triangle, right?
सॉरी The triangle. Okay, it's a triangle. So they are asking us to if it's a triangle, then what's the type of triangle it is, right? They're asking name the type of type of triangle. So for that, what we need to do? Let's find out the distances. It's a PQ, QR, and PR. PQ equal to PQ equal to pi square plus pi square, right? Equal to square root of fifty, which is approximately seven point zero seven. Okay. Why phi square come up? Phi square plus phi square. Huh? Sorry. Got it? Why phi square? Right. X two minus x one equal to five. Y two minus y one equal to five. So what about QR? QR is one square plus one square. Huh? Right, equal to one point QR or PR? Oh, this is PR, right? PR, PR equal to one square plus one square equal to one point four one. So what about QR? QR equal to four square plus six square. Okay, four square plus six square, right? Which is approximately which is equal to zero to fifty two, which is approximately seven point two one. So here, Q R square equal to. PQ square plus PR square. Can you check it whether it's it, it, it's the uh, same or not? QR square QR square equal to PQ square plus PR square. QR square is fifty two, right? Should be equal to fifty plus two, right? Don't go for the roots. Don't go for the decimals. I will be confused. Fifty-two square root of fifty-two will be fifty-two square 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 of square root of fifty-two is fifty-two equal to fifty plus two, right? Equal to fifty. So it's a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. Where is the right angle? It be. Q R okay right angle is at P so one thing what what they are telling is uh, once you find out the distances. Sum of the any two distances greater than the third distance, then it forms a triangle. Sum of any of the two the two is 
two of these distances is greater than the third distance, then it forms a triangle. Or just you can plot and see. But if the values are very high, just you can check like this. Okay. What is the checkpoint? How to check it? Some of the any two distances must be greater than the third distance. What is Let's go for next example. Clear, yeah? This one. Example two. Example. So that the points are the vertices of vertices of square. First, let's let's plot the let's plot it so that it will be clearer. Okay, you don't need to plot, but it's good to plot. So that uh, before itself, you can idea, you can have idea. Plotting always gives a pictureization, so it's a uh, more clear. So what's the point A is one comma one two three four five six seven point is this one comma seven. This is A one comma seven. B is Four comma two, one. Four comma two. B is four comma two. Right. What about C? Minus one comma minus one. C is minus one comma minus one. D is minus four comma four. Minus four comma. Okay. Minus four comma four. D. Right. Can you join the all of them? Okay. This is formed with A, B, C, D. So we need to find out A, B, B, C, C, D, and A, D. Right? Find out A, B value. What's A, B value? A, B equal to square root of three square plus five square. Equal to thirty-four, right? A B equal to square root of three square plus five square. What about B C? B C equal to five square plus three square thirty-four. Okay, B C equal to Five square plus three square. What about CD? CD equal to. Can see CD equal to. C D equal to three square plus five square. Minus three square minus not plus three square minus five square. It will be minus one plus four. Right? It will be three. Minus one minus four will be minus five. Just take all this positive one. Okay. Three square plus five square. A D will be. Five square plus three square, thirty-four. The length of the triangle 
are equal then is it a square can be rom rhombus also right ha huh? that way you need to find the diagonal also okay just with the lens of the squares you can't say lens of the sides you can't say that the square so that's where we need to find out the diagonal also what about ac what are the diagonals here ac ac and AC equal to AC equal to two square plus eight square equal to sixty eight. PD equal to eight square plus six square two square eight square plus. Equal to ah so AC equal to B. So since AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to DA and AC equal to BD, so it says that so ABCD is a square. AB equal to BC equal to CD equal to AD and AC equal to BD. implies abcd is a square so these points will form a square let's see example 3 example so there is a figure given okay first let's let's plot the the it is a graph so what are where is the point a point b point c so don't forget here yeah? uh, those they bring the graph okay Point A is three comma one two three four five six seven Okay, point A is at three comma one. Point B is at six comma four. Point C is at eight comma six. Okay, so is that arrangement of desks? Desks in a classroom. Ashima, Bharati, and Kamala are seated at. Okay. Do you think they are seated in a line? Give the reason for your answer. How to say that they are they are seated in the line or not? Lining up, drawing the line. Ah. Huh? Uh. Ah. Uh. 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 सॉरी 
what we need to do is we need to find out ab we need to find out bc we need to find out ac we need to show that ac equal to ab plus bc that's it right let us show that means if let's say if there is a line line is ac okay so if b lies on a line ac then ac must be equal to ab plus Okay, this must be satisfied. Otherwise, it's not in a line. What is the AC now? AB equal to square root of three square plus three square. Eighteen. Okay. BC equal to square root of two square plus two square. Equal to square root of eight. AC equal to square root of five square plus five square. Square root of fifty. Square root of eighteen equal to three root two. Square root of eight equal to two root two. Square root of fifty equal to five root two. So five root two equal to three root two plus two root two. So AC equal to AB plus. So they lie on a straight. Therefore, they are seated in a straight. So only this will be applicable only when they are seated in a straight line. AC equal to AP plus BC. Right? Example four. So let's say there are two points are given. Okay, point E, point E A equal to point E A is seven comma one, point B is three comma five. Okay, so that is the point X Y. So when you join point E A B, okay, can you plot this and join the points in the graph? Plot it and join them. Seven comma one three comma five. Seven comma one three comma five. Sir, this is the sum. Sorry. Which sum, sir? Which one? Example four. Okay, okay. Okay. Seven comma one, three comma five, and there is a point x y. It should be such that it it must be between both of them. It must be equal distance from point. Let's say take this point as A. A is sorry. A is seven comma one. Seven comma one. B is three comma five. So there is a point x y. Let's just take it as C. So such that B C equal to A C. Right. That's what we need to find out. How many points will be there like that? How many such points will be there? Only one point, right? There won't be multiple points. Only one point which satisfies. It's a equidistance from both of them. Hmm? You know ellipse. Ellipse, you know ellipse. Don't know. So let's say if you take a two points, okay. Generally, I'm saying you need to. It's not there in your syllabus or something. Take a two points. You want to find out a equidistance. There, it will form a an ellipse. 
So always this distance will be equal. This sum of the distances, distances will be equal, not a distance from. Okay, then let's say this is x and this is y, and x plus y will be equal for both of them, all of them. So that will form ellipse. So let's say there are two points. Okay. A, B. So how many points will be there? So all these points will be equal distance only. No? All the points on this line. Let's say this is a mid midpoint. So this midpoint is C. And you draw a perpendicular at C with respect to AB. Then all the points on this line will be equidistance with respect to A to B, right? Right or not? But if you want to fix a one point on a line, then there will be only one point. Okay. So now we want to find out a point C such that BC equal to AC. So what's the BC here? X minus 3 whole square. Square root of x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 5 whole square. What is AC? Square root of x minus 7 whole square plus y minus 1 whole square. Okay, you can cancel out roots. Both, both sides square roots you can cancel out. So, x minus, can, can you explain, expand x minus 3 whole square? x square uh, plus 9 plus y square minus 10y plus 25 equal to x square minus 14x plus 49 plus y square minus 2y plus 1. So cancel out x square with x square, y square with So bring all the x x x. So if you bring uh, minus what next you said it will be eight x right. Okay. If you bring minus two by this side it will be minus eight y. Equal to fifty minus thirty four will be sixteen. So x minus y equal to 2. Okay. Right? So now, what will be x minus y equal to 2? It will be a line. x plus by plus c equal to 0. That, that's a line, right? So x minus y equal to 2 will form a line. Okay. So if you draw a line, x minus y equal to 2, that's what I told, no? Which will be perpendicular to this line AB, all the points will satisfy equal distance. Okay. All the points will satisfy. What they ask us to find? Point XY, which is equidistance. They are not asking which is on the line. They are asking anywhere. Okay. In that case, all these points will satisfy. X minus Y equal to, to all the points will satisfy. But if I want to find out a point which, which is on the line, then so the, the line which is perpendicular to AB and which is passes through the midpoint will be equidistant. So just you need to find the midpoint, midpoint. What is the midpoint? 3 plus 7 will be 10 by 2, 5 comma 5, right? 5 comma 5 comma 3. 5 comma 3, right?
So five minus three will be two. That will satisfy x minus y equal to two also, right? And it will lie on the line also, which is exactly the midpoint. How to calculate the midpoint? X one plus x two by two, comma y one plus y two by two, right? A point A x one comma x one comma y one, B x two comma y two. The midpoint will be x one plus x two by two, comma y one plus y two by two. Midpoint. Okay, got it. Clear? The line which is perpendicular to AB and which passes through the midpoint. Okay. So all the bisector, right? Midpoint means bisector, right? So bisector to the the line AB, which is all the points on that line. They will form a equidistance. Equidistance to point uh, A to point B. Okay, bisector. So now example five. Five is. So let's say if two points are given, huh? a equal to a x one y one, b x two y two. So How to find out a line equation out of this one? If two points are given, how to find out a line equation? Equation of the line. So we consider line as y equal to x plus b. Okay. So if if I substitute equation, if if substitute x one y one, then it will be y one equal to a x one plus b. If I substitute uh, second point y two equal to a x two plus b. So we have two equations, two unknowns. So we can solve for a and b. Right. What's a uh, A value A equal to y two minus y one by x two minus x one. That's what we call it as slope. Slope, right? B is intercept. A is called slope. B is called intercept. So how we got A equal to y two minus y one by x two minus x one? So you you. I have already we covered the solving the pair of linear equations, right? What are the methods to solve them? Uh, substitution and so let's say if you do y minus y one minus y two, what will happen? A x one minus x two, right? So A will be y y one minus y two by x min minus x two, or you can write it as the y two minus y one by x two minus x one. What that say? Why both are same? Because numerator minus denominator minus cancel cancel. Then y two minus y one. So then then b will be. Let's take equation one. Okay. Equation one. B 
ax1 plus b equal to y1 x1 equal to y1 minus b equal to y1 minus ax1 y1 minus a is y2 y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 x1 this is b this is a that's how you if two points are given you can find out the line equation okay so let's solve for example 5 what is example 5 find the point on y axis which is equidistant from the point 6 comma 5 and minus 4 comma 3 first uh, plot the points first thing is you need you just plot the points x axis y axis so what is the first point a 4 five, 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 comma 5 right point b is minus 4 comma 3 okay so if we would join the two lines it will be some like something like this if graph is there like we can draw properly that's why i asked okay so now we need to find a point on y axis which is equidistant to the two points so how can we represent the point on a y axis sorry point on x y axis 0 comma y point on y axis can be represented with so what so there is a point on y axis which is 0 comma y which will be equidistant to something like that okay so now what's the equation Four square root of four square plus y minus three square equal to six square plus y minus five square. Is that right? Or wrong. Say point uh, C as zero comma y. What is the distance B B C? Huh? B C. Four square square root of four square plus y minus three whole square, right? What the A C? Six square plus y minus five whole square. We can cancel out root root. Okay. So then. So what's the finally sixteen plus? Can you expand this one? Y square minus six y plus nine equal to thirty six plus y square minus ten y plus twenty five. Cancel out y squares. So now finally, what we are getting? Four y equal to thirty six plus twenty five. Four y equal to thirty six. Ah, sixteen plus nine will be twenty five. Twenty five we can cancel out twenty five. Four y equal to thirty six. Y equal to six. Y equal nine, right? Ah, the so point will be zero comma nine. Now the same question. Find out the point. Same, same only. Points are same only. We need to find out the point on x-axis, which is equidistant to both the points. Find it out. Got it? 
find the point on x axis which is equidistant to both of them so what is the, how how can we represent point on x axis x comma z so what are the distances now x plus 4 whole square x plus 4 whole square plus 3 square equal to x minus 6 whole square plus 5 square right so what is x plus 4 whole square x square plus 8x plus 16 plus 3 square will be 9 x square plus x square minus 12x plus 36 plus 25 so x square x square cancel 16 plus 9 25 cancel okay so uh, 18 uh, 8 plus 2 20 x equal to 36 x equal to 36 by 20 which is equal to 9 by 5 so point will be 9 by 5 comma 0 9 by 5 or something else hmm? got it So also find a point C, okay, such that AB equal to AC equal to BC. Can you find out? Understood? AB equal to AC equal to BC. Find a point C such that AB equal to AC equal to BC. So AB equal to AC equal to BC, that triangle will be equilateral triangle. Find it out. So what is the BC, AB here, AB is square root of 10 square plus 8 square, square root of 10 square plus 2 square, huh? so it gets a bit complicated, the values will get, so I will give you some other points, then find out. So point A equal to 3 comma 1, okay. Point B equal to six comma five. A is 3 comma 1, B is 6 comma 5. We need to find out a point C such that it is equidistant to. I'll take 3 comma 5 only. Don't be don't be so much complicated. Okay. B is 3 comma 5. A is 3 comma 1. B is 3 comma 5. To find out a point C such that which is the length of AB, AB equal to AC equal to BC like that. So if you plot the graph, you will get it very easily. But if you, if you want to solve it, then you need to solve by how to solve it. Princey, how to solve this one? Uh, AB. Uh.
So what is the point can represent? C can be represented with x comma y, right? So a b equal to how much is a b? Four. Huh? Four, right? So a, how much is a c equal to four? This is one equation. B c equal to four. This is also one more equation. So two equations and two unknowns. X y are two unknowns. Two equations. Solving pair of linear equations, you will get them. So what's a c equal to four? A c a c is what is a c? X minus x minus three square plus y minus one square equal to x minus three square plus y minus five square. Cancel, cancel. Y minus one equal to y minus five. Uh. What is this? Extend it. If you extend it, y square minus two y plus one. Extend this y square minus ten y plus twenty five. Cancel, cancel. Then eight y equal to twenty four. Y equal to three. This is y equal to three. Substitute in y equal to three. X will be so substitute like x minus three whole square equal to x minus three whole square plus y minus one whole square equal to four square, right? Sixteen. Why four square? Length is square root now equal to four, right? This is what? AC. AC equal to four. AC is nothing but square root of x minus three whole square plus y minus one whole square equal to four. So x minus three whole square plus y minus one whole square equal to sixteen, right? So what is y value already we know, right? X minus three whole square. Right. So two square will be four. Four equal to sixteen. Then we get a x square minus six x plus nine plus four equal to sixteen. X square minus six x minus three equal to zero. Right? So. X equal to this is right or wrong? So let's first of all plot the points. What are the points here now? Three comma one, three comma five, right? Three comma one, one two three, 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव थ्री कम वन विल बी हियर थ्री कम फाइव विल बी हियर right now we need to find out a point such that how many such points will come two points will come so one can be this side one can be this side that's why we are getting a quadratic equation but this value won't change which value won't change y value won't change only x value will change That's why this is this is nothing but six minus six plus or minus square root of thirty six plus twelve by two a is six plus or minus forty eight by two. Forty eight can be written as six plus or minus. How can we write forty eight? Two twenty four two twelve two four into root three is it? Right by two equal to three plus or minus two root three. One point is three plus root two root three. Other point is three minus two. Got it? There will be two points. This side one point, that side one point. But this y y won't change. Only x will change. Why y won't change? Because this is perpendicular. Right? Okay. Got it? Okay. Yeah. So now, can you finish the homework? We have two days, right? Huh? Tomorrow? Physics tomorrow, no? Not math. Huh? Tomorrow physics, right? So, what is exercise? Can you finish the exercise seven point one? Not not so difficult. Dollar is not. Can see? Huh? Tomorrow? Huh? Oh, tomorrow holiday. Ah, huh? I don't know. School holiday. Ah. Huh? Tomorrow class is there. Ah. Huh? No holiday, right? <laughs> okay confirm ah uh.